get your reaction to what took place last week at the January 6th committee hearings. What did we learn? Well, I don't think we learned anything new. I mean, we already knew they want to get rid of the Electoral College. They want to make it uh, that President Trump can't run in 2024. And they had, the, you know, the former head of ABC News as the producer, the choreographer of this thing. But I don't think we learned anything new, even even with hundreds of witnesses, thousands of hours of testimony, no ability for uh, for Republicans to do any type of cross-examination. I still don't think there was anything new there. Um, you know, it's kind of like a, kind of like the home team playing in the, at, at home and, and, and the refs on their side and they still can't win the game. That was sort of my takeaway. Um, and I think that's the American people's takeaway because they're focused on the things you've already just mentioned, Maria. They're focused on $5 gas, 41-year high inflation, uh, a border that's no longer a border, and crime that's on the rise in every major urban area in this country. Yeah. You and Kevin McCarthy wrote an op-ed about a week ago in the Wall Street Journal, and you pointed out a, a number of things in, in that op-ed, basically that this was a legitimate, illegitimate committee. So I guess my question yeah. to you is, if it's illegitimate and they're weaponizing majority rule, are any of these subpoenas enforceable and legal that they are handing out? And what happens to this committee should you take the majority in November? Well, well, we'll investigate. We want to. I want to see all the depositions. I want to see all the documents. And, and uh, uh, a ranking member, uh, Rodney Davis, has already sent a preservation letter to the committee saying, "Preserve all this information so we can look at it, and the American people can get the full story, not just this one-sided, choreographed uh, presentation we got. <clears throat> excuse me, we got the other night." So, uh, but when you think about what this committee has done, never in the history of this country, in the history of the House of Representatives. Has a minority leader not been able to put on a select committee the individuals he or she has selected? We also know that this committee has altered evidence and lied to the American people about it, so much so that they had to issue a statement which says, we regret the error, which is government speak for, we got caught lying. So that's what this committee is about. I think the country sees, sees it for what it is, a partisan political activity. That's why the leader and I wrote the op-ed that we did uh, in the Wall Street Journal a couple weeks ago.